When I go with confidence, when I go the way around that hips and take my sip on it, take a trip on it. When I go, you can go slow. Wind it up on night, baby, take your time. Hey y'all, what's up? So I'm here to show you guys another human hair unit from Amazon that is under $100. So you know, I'm trying to find as many affordable wigs, both synthetic and human hair on Amazon to share with you guys that I recommend and I really like. Um, some I end up liking, some are a win, some are a fail. So I'm just here to show you guys what I found. Um, so this unit I did find for, I think it was $85, but I will check that and put it in the description box down below. So this is a short, like bowl mushroom cut type of wig with blonde highlights, but the hair itself is a 1B. It's a short cut with a taper cut in the back on the neck. So these type of wigs sometimes can be a little bit of a hot mess, <laughs> especially when you first put them on. So you kind of have to do some work with these wigs. So this is not one of those like throw one and go and it's going to look just like the picture. You definitely going to have to put in a little bit of work. So right away, I knew I'd have to trim the bangs and, you know, actually cut the hair into the style um, that it looked like on the picture. And I know a lot of um, companies do this. They make the hair longer because they don't know everybody's height and their, you know, eye um, height. Like everything just is longer so that you can cut it into the style that you want. So more than likely when you receive your wig, unless you're extremely tall, um, this wig will be a little bit too long, but you can always just, you know, grab a pair of cutting shears and trim it into the shape that you need it. Or I would suggest taking it to a hairstylist if you don't feel confident doing this for yourself. You can always take your human hair wigs to a hairstylist that you trust and they can cut it into the shape and style that you want. So um, that's always an option as well. I knew right away that the wig shape was not that mushroom style that um, you know I was looking for so I knew it was gonna take some cutting for me but I kind of wanted to bevel the hair and kind of bump it to see what it would look like curled so that when I got ready to cut it I wasn't cutting it too much and really taking it away from the style that you know I purchased it to be I went ahead and started adding some layers because I could tell in the photo that there was a lot, a lot of layers in this unit. Um, it almost seemed like the blonde was much shorter than the black hair on the wig. So I wanted to give that effect without chopping the hair up too much. And so to do that, I kind of just added some layers. So I gradually started cutting the hair into that bowl cut, which is kind of more like a straight across cut. I was doing more of a diagonal cut before, but I was like, mm, that's not really giving me the look. So I definitely wanted it to be more of a straight across cut. So I continually went in and trimmed away some of that diagonal line to make it more of a straight line and more of a dramatic um, bowl cut than that kind of tapered look.
and again after I gave it that straight across cut I realized that I kind of cut away the layers that I had created before so then I had to go back and add back the layers again so that the blonde hair wasn't such a blunt cut I wanted the blonde part of the wig to be feathered and the black part to be a blunt cut so I went in and added more layers so as you can see this is just a lot of trial and error trimming just a little bit and doing more and going back and trimming and getting the look that you want um I wouldn't say this is a style that you want to go ham right away cutting and chopping um yes this way took more time but it got me closer to what the style um you know I was looking for now I will say this wig is affordable, but all the time and energy you have to put into it um, and the level of skill that you need to make this wig look like the photo, I'm not certain that I would suggest that this wig is a ready to go straight out the box. You know, straight when you receive this wig, it's gonna look exactly like the photo. I wouldn't say that. Um, I've ordered wigs before off of Amazon that literally are straight out the pack bangers and just hit. Um, this is not one of those wigs. Would I still recommend purchasing this wig? Yes, I think it's a great price. Um, and I think it's a very interesting and different look. So I would say if you are down for a little bit of a challenge, Order this wig, grab it because it's a great price. And once you do get it cut and styled to the way that you want, this wig will last you forever. This is not the type of wig that you'll need to throw away in two, three months. Um, this is a human hair wig that you can wash and style and wear it styled for weeks and weeks on end. Um, I don't see you having to wash this hair every week or every two weeks. Like the maintenance is very low on this unit. And the hair is good quality. Um, it's just the cut that really needs a lot of work. But you only have to cut it one time. And once you get it in the cut, you're good. So would I recommend it for a beginner? Absolutely not. Would I recommend it for someone who's willing and up for the challenge? Yes. And would I recommend it for someone who is willing to take it to a stylist to get a cut? Yes. So think about what's best for you and you can make that determination on your own but I think I would recommend this wig because I really like how this unit turned out So once I went ahead and put the unit back on after trimming it on my mannequin head, I definitely needed to trim the back of my hairline on my neck. I have a lot of hair, you guys, so I tend to have to trim this when I'm wearing a shortcut. It doesn't bother me to trim my hair. My hair grows fast and it's super thick. It's natural. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you absolutely do not have to do that. You can disguise your hair with a little bit of gel and just gel it down, um, you know, away from, from the wig. So I went ahead and trimmed the side of the wig so that it looked a little more natural. Now this is really hard for me to see, so I did the best that I could. I know it's not perfect, but I did the best that I could without any help. And um, yeah, this cut is pretty much done at this point and it was time to go ahead and curl the unit. Now if you wanted to wear this wig straight, you could. I personally don't think it looks like the photo even after all of that work straight. So I wasn't crazy about how it looks straight. So I decided to go ahead and put some curls in it. I grabbed my Babyless flat iron, which is actually on sale on Amazon now. And if you know Babyless, you know they don't go on sale. These flat irons are upwards of $100. Um, they're not cheap. So I would say run, don't walk <laughs> to Amazon and grab your Babyless products um, and your Babyless hot tools while they're on sale because it's very few far in between that they go on sale. And these flat irons will last you I mean dare I say a lifetime maybe not a lifetime but mine have lasted me well over five six years so you know I think it's worth the price and it does a great job on my natural hair and on my wigs so I'll leave links in the description box down below for um, this uh, babyless flat iron that I did get off of Amazon
So I don't know about y'all. I know the photo is showing the hair straight, but I think this hair is given curly. Like it is really given and I really, really love it. Curly, straight was not doing it for me. Like it was doing nothing for me. But these curls are definitely, definitely pretty. And I like how this unit looks curly. And I promise you guys, this style is so different and so interesting. It's really giving like 90s vibes. And everywhere I went wearing this wig, people were commenting on my hair. Like this hairstyle, it just grabs a lot of attention. Um, I think it's nostalgic for a lot of people. Soon as they saw me in this hair, they liken me to something that they remembered like my husband saw it and he was saying I look like Mary J Blige one of my homegirls saw it and she said it was given 90s so like I think this hairstyle is really dope because it really like takes people somewhere when they see it and they get really happy and excited so I love that um y'all know I love hair I love nostalgia and um you know I just love that wearing a hairstyle that makes me happy makes other people happy and takes them back to a different time and place i just think that's so cool So again, I definitely recommend this wig. Y'all see me being an absolute perfectionist, like still cutting and trimming away and making sure this wig is perfect. <laughs> but I'll leave links down below so you can grab this if you're interested. You like this wig? No. No? <laughs> Y'all, he is hilarious. But um, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Peace out.